Here's how to tell whether sublevels, principal energy levels, and orbitals are occupied or full. If the energy level or sublevel or orbital is occupied, to be occupied, all you need is one. It takes just one person to occupy a room. Right now, I'm the only person in this room. Therefore, I am occupying this room. That's different from full. Full means that you've got the maximum number you can possibly have in there. For this oxygen, remember the first energy level can hold up to two electrons. The second energy level can hold up to eight. The third energy level can hold up to 18. The fourth energy level can hold up to 32. The S sublevel can hold up to two electrons. The P sublevel can hold up to six electrons. The D sublevel can hold up to 10 electrons, and the F sublevel can hold up to 14 electrons. There are two energy levels occupied in oxygen. So principal energy levels, two are occupied. How many are full? Well, the first energy level has two, so it's full. The second energy level can fit up to eight, but it's not full. So only one is full. What about sublevels? When we break this down, it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. That adds up to the eight electrons that we have. This sublevel, this sublevel, and this sublevel are occupied. So for sublevels, we have three that are occupied. How many are full? S can hold up to two. This one's filled. S can hold up to two. This one's filled. P can hold up to six. That one's not filled. So only two are full. When we draw the box diagram of this, we draw 1s, up, down, 2s, up, down, 2p, three boxes, four electrons, one, two, three, and four. So how many orbitals have electrons in them? One, two, three, four, five orbitals have electrons occupying them. Okay, so we have five that are occupied. How many of them are full? This one's full with two, this one's full with two, this one's full with two. These are unpaired, so there's only three full orbitals. You can apply this to any element you want. If there are electrons in it, it's occupied. If they're filled to capacity, they're full. Let's try one more element just for fun. Yay! Potassium has one, two, three, four energy levels with electrons in it. Four occupied. The first energy level is full. The second energy level is full. The third energy level is not full. Neither is the fourth. So only two are full. The electron configuration for potassium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. That takes care of those eight. 3s2, 3p6. That takes care of those eight. And 4s1. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sublevels occupied. S needs two to fill it. P needs six to fill it. That one's not full, so only five sublevels are full. Orbitals. 1s up down, 2s up down, 2p up up up, down down down, 3s up down, 3p up, 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 down, 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 and 4s, up. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 orbitals that have electrons in them, but all but one of them are full. And that's how you determine whether your principal energy level, sublevel, or orbital is occupied or full. For the principal energy level, just use the basic configuration they give you on the table. To find out how many sublevels are occupied or full, break it down into the expanded configuration. To find out how many orbitals are occupied or full, draw your box diagram or your orbital notation as it's otherwise called.